Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit PDF files on Google Classroom. I know a lot of us are teaching from home or we're students and we're submitting assignments online through Google Classroom. So I know this is new to a lot of us, it's new to me, and I just want to share what I just learned, what I just taught myself to everybody out there. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and click on my favorite subject, mathematics. I also teach it, so... I'm going to go ahead and click on it, and it takes me straight to the announcements page. I can see all the announcements that the teacher left, and it, it notifies me that they left a new assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says classwork. There it is. So here's my first assignment for this week. It's due on March the 30th. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and boom, I can see when the teacher uploaded it at 9.36 a.m. You can see that... Uh, they left me instructions. Watch this video to learn how to edit your PDF files, Google Classroom, and it has my name. This is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says view assignment. Okay, so it tells me how many points it's worth, the name of the teacher, the directions, and I can leave a personal comment to my teacher and he will receive it. Okay, so here I have my assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it takes me to this page. Okay, as you can see, I can scroll down to see my whole assignment. My algebra teacher is being very mean, giving me a lot of work. What's up with that? I'm just kidding. Um, go ahead and click on the three dots on the right side where it says more action. Click on that and you're going to see two things. You're going to see details and you're going to see open in new window. We're going to go ahead and click where it says open in new window. This is going to give us the special feature right here. Open with is a drop down menu, okay? Please make sure that you have open with with a drop down menu. Okay, so when I click on it, I'm going to look for this guy right here Doc Hub PDF Sign and Edit. Okay, the Doc Hub PDF Sign and Edit. So click on that and it's going to take you to a page, okay? Um, go ahead and sign in with your school email, okay? Do not use your personal account because your Google Classroom is associated with your school email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on mine. If yours is not on there, you're gonna put use another account and sign in, okay? Um, go ahead and click allow, allow, allow. Now the magic begins. So let's have some fun with our Algebra 1 assignment. Yeah, baby! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename my uh, file. I'm going to go ahead and take out all of the Algebra 1 handout. I will leave my name, Mrs. Awesome, and I'm going to put the day that it's due, March 30th. Please make sure you capitalize the, the month has to be capitalized sorry about that and you're going to go ahead and click enter so as you can see it already saved the title of your assignment all right okay now we're going to go ahead and look at the the tools right here these are all my tools this is the redo sorry the undo the redo the pointer the text the drawing the highlighting the comment the white out and so on and so forth okay so the first thing i'm going to show you how to do is uh, the added text. Okay, so you're gonna go to your open-ended response. So here's an open-ended response. Is this relation a function? Yes or no. A function means that the domain does not repeat, or the x value does not repeat. Okay. So if I look at number two, I have one, two, the number three, four, and five. Those are all the first numbers on the ordered pair. Those are all my x values. Okay, as you can see, they're all different. So yes, this will be a function. So I want to go ahead and get my text tool and I'm going to come over here to number two and I'm going to go ahead and make it a rectangle and I'm going to type my answer. Yes, you can make it to capitalize or whatever. Okay, now Notice that you have six dots up here. This is used to move your font wherever you want it to be, your text, sorry. Okay, you can delete it if you want. But now notice here, I can change on the toolbar, I can change the font. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change it to Times of Roman or whatever you want. I'm gonna change the color to blue because that's my favorite color. I can either put it on the left side, center it, or put it on the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the left side, okay? I can also make it bold, 
or I can make it italic. See how it makes it italic? I'm going to leave it bold, and that's it. Okay, now if I want to add another text, I can go ahead and make another box and put, hey, notice how my setting, my setting stayed the same. Okay, but again, you can always edit that and change it to whatever color you want. Okay, uh, and then of course you can move it with this. If for whatever reason you do not end up seeing this blue box, just click on the pointer, go to where you want to edit, and notice how you're going to have like uh, orange lines up here. Click on it and you have it again. Okay, I'm going to move it right there. Yay! Now we're going to go ahead and use the drawing tool. The drawing tool is pretty cool. You can change the color. I'm going to use um, orange. You can change uh, how thick you want it to be. Okay. Now I can go ahead and draw on my stuff. So again, if I have a graph and I want to see if this is a function, I can use the vertical line test. Okay, if this is an open ended response, uh, for example, sorry, if this is a multiple choice question and they're asking me which one's a function, um, let's look at letter A, negative one, zero, and one, those are my x values, they're different, so I'm going to circle that yes, it is a function. If I look at this one, I have three, zero, three. This is not a function because the threes are repeating. Do you see that? Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the highlighting tool, okay, which is amazing. So if I click on the highlighting tool, I can highlight the important things that my teacher wants me to do. Review the columns. Okay. The relation will not be a function. I'm just going to highlight the relation will not be. Now I can change the color right here. I'm going to go ahead and use blue, okay. I can also create another one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and use a red. Okay, and I can, again, the six dots come here, and I can use that to move it wherever I want. Okay, now for whatever reason I want to delete stuff, for example, I want to delete this, I can click on it, and using the pointer tool, and I can delete it. Um, if I want to delete this highlighting tool, I can go ahead and click on this and uh, move it or delete it, whatever you wish, okay? Um, for whatever reason, you're using the drawing tool and you accidentally put an X, you can also use the undo button and it will take it off. Or if you want it there, then you can go ahead and click on it, all right? But in this case, the X belongs over here because the one is repeating, all right? So now you can also leave a comment. Um, Let's suppose uh, right here. I'm going to go ahead and leave a comment on this one. Um, how many times? How many dots can I have on the vertical line test? Okay. Then once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the pointer tool. And as you can see, I have this little sticky tool right here and it pops up right here on this side. Okay. I can also zoom out if I want to. Okay. Or I can zoom in to whatever, you know, makes me feel comfortable. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to save our work. So we're going to go ahead and click on the download and export button, which is between the little people person and the three lines. So go ahead and click on that and you're going to go to Google Drive. Okay. Now you can either use this right here, update existing with revision. I've been playing with this for a while. Sometimes it takes a while for it to show up and then, you know, it kind of freaks me out a little bit because I'm like, did it save it? Did it not? So just to be on the safe side, um, I found it that it's easier just to create a new copy. Okay. And as you can see, it's going to say your name, Mrs. Awesome, and then March the 30th. So it renamed it to whatever you changed it on uh, the document uh, in the beginning. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and export it to uh, Google Drive. Okay. As you can see, it's doing that. Yay, guys, it saved my work. That's what's up. Okay, you can put OK to exit out or you can put show and drive. Now, 
as you can see, my work has been saved. Ta-da! I still have my drawings and I still have my texts and I still have my lines and my comment is there. How many dots can I have on the vertical line test appears. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to, I can close this, I don't need it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my uh, Google Class. Um, all I have to do right here is click the close button, which is this arrow, and it takes me back to my assignment page. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click on add or create, and I'm going to click on Google Drive. Okay, so here's my Google Drive, and here it tells me the most recent one that I've saved. Here it is. And how do I know it's the right one? Because it says Mrs. Awesome, March the 30th. And for whatever reason you want to check it, okay, you can just click on it and click Add. Right now I'll show you how to check it. Notice how here it says Mrs. Awesome Algebra 1 handout. But when I put my cursor here, my sorry, my cursor here, it says Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Awesome March the 30th, okay? This is the one I'm going to submit, so I want to click on it. As you can see, my work is saved. Ta-da! To close it, click on the back arrow. If you want to see what this one is, you click on it. This is the old version. So it's very important now that what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this one because I don't want to confuse my teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and click the close arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and put my my cursor on here and making sure that I'm going to delete the right one. Mrs. Awesome Algebra 1 handout. I do not want that one, so I'm going to click X. Okay. And finally, this is my last one. So I can go ahead and click on that to double check again. Yes, it's the right one. I'm going to close it and I'm going to go ahead and turn it in. It says one attachment will be submitted for how to edit your PDF on Google Classroom. Turn it in. Okay. So that's it, guys. You already submitted it. Um, your teacher will go ahead and fix it. If for whatever reason you make a mistake, you can go ahead and click on submit. Okay. I don't know if everybody has the un unsubmit um, thing. You can go back here. Again, click on the three dots. Open a new window and do the exact same thing that we did. Okay. Um, so once you already have it on in there, go ahead and click turn in and. Again, you can click here. Yay, it's in there. Close it and turn in. And that's it. You are done. You are set. Now your life is a little bit more easier. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye.